Today we have uh, experiments that we call the virtual lab. This was the name of the virtual lab. It's any. Experiment on the internet we call it as a virtual. Okay? Yeah. The other day I was looking for the springs and then there was uh, like a software where it simulates the springs. You just have to hang the mask and choose the K, I think. Not just the gravity, just the gravity. Oh. And, and then you Did you try this one? Oh, yeah, I tried it. It's okay. so much fun. So much fun, huh? Yeah, you can change the planet. This is, right? Yes. So here, you can't change the length from here. You can't change the mass from here. You can't change the gravity from here. This is for the simple pendulum and this is for the spiral system. Right? So let's say you are, you know, you have, let's say tomorrow, the final exam of the lab. And you don't have time to read it, right? So you can go to the internet, just write, let's say, simple pendulum, job, or simple pendulum, and you go to virtual lab. I do search for this. And I found, I just write simple Vendolin, Java, okay, and found 69,700 websites dealing with this, okay. If we said we have direct virtual lab for Java for this, it's, if we said this is 10th of, of this amount, is the real, let's say, like this experiment, okay on the internet, so at least you have 6,000 sites you can do the experiment virtually okay, and the uh, internet so this is very helpful to know how to do it because you know, if you have the stopwatch if you don't have the stopwatch so you have your, in your mobile you can use the stopwatch okay, use it okay, and calculate it, you see this is this is, if we said now so this is 1 2 4 and so on. Right? So we can do the same experiment but on the net. But what's the problem of the virtual labs? Virtual lab means this is very exact result, right? There is no experimental errors, right? Because you know, this is depending on the theoretical equations. Actually, in a real lab, we satisfy the theoretical equations. That's why we have expected value and we have what? Practical value. In virtual lab, the two should be the same. Have to be the same. Because this is depending on theoretical equations. It's not a real life. I mean, we, we put the equations here and we do this oscillation according to my equation, according to my theoretical equation. So this is a very accurate one. As you know, when we did the experiment for the simple Vendola here, you know, this is another position of the F, right? So, I expect another value of G, and this is logic. I will not get the same G like in UK or in England, right? It's 9.81 and so on, right? 
I get another value. Why? Because I have, we are in the other position. But here, you will get 9.8. Okay? The other thing, I want to make this experiment on the moon. How I do it? I need millions of dollars to go there, right? To make this experiment. But here it's very, it's a free. So I can probably to the moon by changing this gravity to 1.6. See? This is oh, 1.6. Okay? Now, this is the same experiment on the moon. Okay? So now, it's 1.6 to the G of the moon, right? 1.6 meter per second squared. But the things is what? Well, from where I got this website? From this explorescience.com. This is one of the thousands of the website. I just take the example. Okay? I mean, this is not the only one. I have thousands of sites dealing by, make, give me like these things. Okay. Now, if I change the mass, let me change the mass here. Just I want to tell you about something. Okay? Let's say I have this mass. So let me call it now. We said this is. I said this is now one, two, three, right? Mm -hmm. Four. Now, if I change the gravity, if I do this experiment on the Earth, what I will get in the experiment? Do I change the time of the solution or not? Mm -hmm. Hmm? No, let me check. I will put it here. It's 15. Okay. Let's say uh, on some planet. Okay. And calculate it. See. Now. 1. 2. 3. Same. So no effect for gravity on the on my oscillation time of the spray. Right? This is, you can check it. Okay, now let's go to the symbol pendulum. Here, if I have 15 meter per second square, so you see, now, one, two, three, four, okay? Now I'll change the acceleration and see. Is there any change? And let's say I put it like this. See? Now, See, it's very <laughs> obvious. One, right? Yes. So G, effect on simple pendulum, but it's not effect on the spiral supreme. But let me do another thing. I will put it on 9.8, as in the earth. This is 9.8, right? Now I will... Okay, now I have 0.1 mass, and here I have 0.1, okay? Now see, I have mass here 0.1 and I have mass here 0.1. See, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, right? Here I have 1, 2, 3, just remember this, okay? This is like one, two, like this. Okay? Now I will change this, sorry, the mass, let's say to the three, and here to the three. See? So I change the oscillation time here, right? Before it's one, two, three, four, five. Well, this is now, let's say, this is one. This is 2. So mass effect on the oscillation time of the spring. But let's check this. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, C. You get the point? Yeah. So no effect of mass on my simple pendulum, because there is effect on the what? On the oscillation time of the square spring. No effect for G. 
on the on the spinal supply, but there 